Yo, what is up, you guys? I'm with the party, and like every day is your birthday, because we got another one for you guys today. And yep, 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 I am on vacation right now. But I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not home. Y'all already know, I, I let y'all know, but I know you see this. I know you realize you watching this right now. And that's because there is no day off. So I brought my whole entire setup. I brought my tower. I brought both my monitors, my keyboard, my mouse, my mic, my batteries, my tripod, my green screen. My I packed the car with everything, dude. That way, because usually you guys, when I go on vacation, I pre-record for like a week or two weeks. And I do double videos a day. But it's just a lot of work. And I, I juggling all these channels. I don't got the time to do that. But I still wanted to go on vacation. So I just threw everything in the car and uh, <laughs> look at this picture right here. We just put a desk in the room and uh, set everything up and we are chilling and grilling now. So I brought my whole setup, you guys, and we are ready to go. So I hope you guys do enjoy these videos. I'm still going to be editing for our B-Day reviews. Just released our next new review on Batman. Put some work into that. Was up till 2.30 a.m. last night. And I really do hope you guys check it out, watch the whole thing, give it a like. It would really boost the video and mean a lot to me. But if not, I still hope you enjoy this one. And let's get right to this Vinny2 video. When arrogant anime characters got destroyed. And this is going to be something that I love to watch right here. Just because, you know, it's always nice to see that cocky, arrogant dude in a movie or a show get his ass handed to him. I know y'all all know them characters, but you just like, thank goodness. And probably some of them are in here. So without further ado, we are going to hop right into this and uh, see who finally got the beat down. They deserve it. Anime is home to some of the biggest arrogant Dude, characters in media. I know you agree, and these guys simply carry with them undeniable charisma that makes you just want to cheer them Punch on God, that get man. their ah. asses handed to them. Your mileage may vary, but to me, there seems to be no in-between. On another note, it seems so satisfying when said arrogant characters... Wait a minute, what the shit? Dude, that's not even... Nah, bro, that's not even at that point. That's not even destroying them you turn that man into a bitch i don't care y'all i don't care if someone got a strap to my head if they said lick their shoes i'd be like bro you might as well get the bullets out now i ain't licking no one's shoe so satisfying when said arrogant characters get That's humbled tough. in the biggest possible ways that's what we're looking at today i'll be listing my favorite moments in anime when the arrogant character gets destroyed and put in his place let's start with arnos versus zepes man he's working him with the heart yeah He's too much for it's you, dude. It's such a great feeling to be able to talk about Misfit of Demon King Academy again. It's a really fun show that wastes no time telling us what it's about. How does it do so? By giving us this kind of introduction, with the arrogant Zepes being utterly destroyed by our protagonist. Destroyed. And Arnos doesn't just kill Zepes, mind you. Without even touching his opponent, Arnos repeatedly kills and resurrects Zepes, quite literally toying with him and flexing his power again and <laughs> again. What I won't say it's super satisfying to see Zepes finally grovel because we barely knew anyone, it's still a big way to make a first impression. It's a sign of things to come as Misfit of Demon King Academy goes all the way in integrating the whole one punch man thing into the show. Yeah, you can't, you can't really get more badass than that. Dude whooped his opponent without even touching him and then brought his ass back to life to do it again. You can't really get much more badass show. Than that. Still, it's got some great story developments that keep I want to see him stale. in one punch With man the second season on the horizon, it's the best time to get into the series. <laughs> It's appropriate to follow an Arnos moment with a Kirito moment. As a villain, Oberon he just, has is that a hologram? Be a what kind of blood is that? During his time as Sword Art Online's villain, there's nothing redeemable Bro. about Oberon or even his real world counterpart, Sugo. He's there to be the villain for everyone to hate. I freaking him. hate this hair, y'all. I can't wait to get my shit cut, bro. I'm going to be getting my hair cut, y'all, after this vacation. Now, I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of hair we got to cut. So, I might be rocking a hat for a little bit. But best believe I'm getting this pink. It's just, it's just dead, annoying, 
and shit. To see get destroyed, so obviously he had to be this over the top arrogant villain with a god complex. Oh, and he's quite the controversial figure too. Seeing Kirito finally destroy him was nothing short of satisfying. Never mind the context that could have confused anime onlys. Never mind Kirito going literally god mode for the first time in the series. Seeing Oberon beg for mercy before getting annihilated was more than enough fan service for fans. He went out in the most painful and humiliating way one percent of his strength. And the SAO fan community had nothing oh, to cheer damn. the scene. How is he alive? He ain't alive no more. Asta versus Seke is Some a good introduction to the right series. While we're all too focused with Asta being noisy at this part of the anime, we've got to admit, he plays the lovable underdog hero well, and Seke serves as one of the perfect starter opponents for the underdog protagonist. He's cunning, and is the type of guy who would do anything just to make himself look good. Not exactly the most lovable character, and him singling out Asta for the sake of showing off didn't earn him a lot of fans. Well, anyone who watches anime could tell this is a disaster waiting to happen for Seke. You know he's doomed the moment he throws up the spell and dares Asta to attack him. Easily one of the worst mistakes he could have made. But it does make me smile to see him get one Rokey's shot. The guy never bank. saw that coming, and the way he got defeated Damn. should wipe some smugness off him. That Before weak ass and his Mordas, we have Jotaro and his Auras in this moment right here. Smug cruel and petty beyond belief. Steely Dan isn't going to find himself on many people's favorites list anytime soon. Assassinating Enya the way he did won't earn him appeal points. Bruh. That might be the most crazy anime death I've ever seen. Worms through your eyes, your mouth, your nose. That's a that's really a whole nother level that man went. That might be the most brutal way to kill someone. And so does forcing Jotaro to obey him in such a self-indulging way. Well, Guy took a complete 180 the moment his mind control comes off, and as expected, you see him go back to being the sleazy guy that he is. Good thing that the protagonists are ready this time, easily dismantling lovers as the start of his humiliation. To cap it all off, we have the legendary three pages of horror where <laughs> Got him licking a shoe, dude. barrages Steely Dan, completely destroying him yeah, the he only done, way he deserved to go. That's 30 seconds of aura that will forever be immortalized in anime form. His last meal was leather. Okay, gave him a death receipt. Or is it grocery receipt, man? It's not quite the barrage that Star Platinum did, but Takamura landing the decisive punch on Hawk felt so good. That sounded so good. I mean, not for him. It's just a thing with athletes. That sounds like a broken school for him. Confidence, isn't there? We've had a fair share of those in real life, but I truly think that Hawk puts those real-world athletes to shame. Maybe it's his background, but having persevered through such a tough childhood truly fed that ego of his. In his introduction, the show wastes no time establishing his arrogance. It's Takamura he's facing, but the guy acts like he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some random scrub. To be fair, he had the skills to back the arrogance up. His fight with Takamura was a back-and-forth affair with no shortage of drama and tense moments. The two behemoths collided and completely lived up to their billing. Still, it's clear who the anime wants us to root for. Takamura's no saint, but compared to Hawk's temperament, he might as well be one. That's why when Hawk finally falls and subsequently retires from boxing, there was so much joy. It's pretty wild to see how broken he became as a result of this fight. I'm slipping that. And hey, I know seeing cocky characters get destroyed is satisfying. So satisfying that few things can top it. An exception, of course, is being able to get the best discounts in town. And that's where today's sponsor, hey. Slick Deals, comes in. <laughs> Shout out to Slick Deals, man. Y'all, if you want to get some good, cheap deals, Slickly, and some Dealy, go check that Tishiro out. at the end of Unlimited Blade Works. <laughs> Gilgamesh, that was a cocky son of a bitch right there, bro. Fate Zero reeks of arrogance. Those who only got to know his Babylonia incarnation won't know, but trust me, longtime Fate fans were quite surprised. I mean, he did have a little bit of right for that arrogance, though. His move, Fate, people, shit spawning in, I don't know. 
was crazy, dude. That, like, portals he opens and stuff with all the weapons, that's tough. Everybody got their little character they bring back to life. I'd rather that portal. I'm not going to lie. Actually, I'd rather whatever be him. What the shit? Fans were quite surprised at the Wise King's temperament, which took an about face from the personality we grew up with. Fate Zero was filled with Gilgamesh flexing and a kind of hubris that he easily backs up. That's why it all felt so redeeming to see him fall in unlimited blade works to Shiro of all people. Yeah, not even a servant, but a human who's actually quite underrated when you think about it. Still, it was yeah, a big highlight that, that he is slowly crazy. lose his composure in the fight. How can the strongest servant of them all not run over Shiro? It all comes full circle towards the end of the fight. Even when back to a corner, he refuses to put aside his arrogance, and it's his hesitation that cost him a hand and the battle. Oh! Gojo versus Jogo is next on the list. Oh, this one crazy. A, we just finished our Batman review like I said in the beginning. No, Juju is the next review we're going to be doing, and that shit going to be fire. So make sure you check out the beat it review shit. <laughs> Now, here's a turnaround. Joko's quite the confident villain. As early as his introduction, he's the one with the crazy suggestions. Imagine bringing up, walking up to Gojo and just killing him outright. To be fair, there's some basis to his confidence though. At the start of the encounter, Jogo does showcase what he's capable of and everything from the flame magic to the bugs looks quite intimidating and powerful. Sucks for Jogo though, when his opponent decides to take control of the match, it's all over. Gojo pulls the ultimate Uno reverse Dude by taught using it as a, as a lesson. training dummy as he shows I'm stressing, using that shit as a training lesson. Now, it's the class. mentor's turn to show off his superiority and showcase his power. Poor Jogo stood no chance whatsoever, and this whole battle shows why you don't mess with Gojo. <laughs> Saitama versus Deep Sea King is up next. <laughs> Ah, one of the most emotional scenes Left a little scratch time. on Deep that Deep Sea King's man. defeat is one of my favorite defeats in the series. This guy quickly built a resume early on, beating heroes left and right. When even Sonic and Genos, among all the other heroes, weren't able to defeat him, it understandably inflated that ego of his. He eventually finds his match in the form of Saitama. Then he foolishly fails to realize that he's punching way above his league and continues the trash. <laughs> Literally so Saitama said just responds wobbled. the only way Saitama could, by defeating him with one punch, ending his reign of terror for good. Most people remember this arc with a Moomin Rider moment, but I think that the aspect of it that relates to having an arrogant villain get destroyed in one hit was quite underrated. After finishing the anime version of One Punch Man, Deep Sea King is still up there. Hey, hey, the villain. I mean, the don't get me wrong. The first one was pretty crazy. Beating someone without even touching them, but killing someone in one punch, that shit is cold as hell too. They talking all that shit, you're like, all right, bro. And they even get a hit off and... Itches your forehead. Not even hurts. Just itches his forehead. And he's a... No, not a... Just a... It's over. That's a flex. I wanted to see destroyed. That's how you shut up someone that talks that shit. Beat him with Luffy ease. delivers a punch that's heard all over the world. Oh, one this was moments. one of my favorite yeah. One Piece moments in all of the world One Piece. I know I've talked about this scene quite a number of times already, but how can I not? The Celestial Dragon just had one of the most punchable faces out there, and his attitude throughout the whole ordeal simply doesn't do him any favors. Luffy had enough, and we've got to give juice to the build-up of this scene. You just know that it's coming, and everyone seems to do so. Everyone, except the ignorant Celestial Dragon before getting his brain scrambled. And Luffy gave us one of the most satisfying moments in the One Piece anime. In a series, as long as One Piece, that's saying a lot. Lastly, I'd like to end with Eins versus Clementine. Eins versus Clementine. Like there are a few people insane enough to challenge Eins to a fight. A powerful and proud warrior, Clementine is psychopathic enough to attempt the impossible. And let's just say that it didn't go all too well she for do her. Look she may have had out. a lot of victories under her belt, but there's only so little one can do against Eins. In spite of her martial arts skills, in spite of her proficiency for battle, in spite of all the preparation she had, in spite of her bloodlust, none of those were relevant in any way when she finds herself facing the opponent her pride asked for. Big mistake. Normally, How you feel he not bad die for someone right who gets there. destroyed that badly. Then again, it's Clementine, one of the most arrogant characters the series has given us so far. So oh, we don't need to see a lot dead. of tears shed in this scene. 
Did he just snap her And that's going to do it for my list of arrogant characters getting their comeuppance. Oh which, my god, yeah, she definitely got her comeuppance. Jeez, dude. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. What a crazy bunch of anime moments right there. Ooh, this is a tough, tough choice. I'm going to have to go with the One Piece one. Or the Gatama one was really good. The Fate one was really good. That one was pretty good. We just seen it. Damn, bro, this whole video was just a bunch of fire, man. So I don't know how you can choose. But if you can somehow pick, let me know in the comments what you picking. We got a couple more videos I'm going to get done for you guys today. Y'all already know we on our grind and uh, doing our thing, bro. I promise y'all I'm not going to let up until we make it. And I, y'all, for me to make it, I don't need to be famous. I don't need to be a bajillionaire. All I need is enough money to live on my own and do this for the rest of my life so until that happens i'm gonna bring my computer everywhere i go be recording every day getting shit done every day and there is no days off and i hope you guys are doing the same because if you want that dream bro that shit be running hella quick you got to be willing to get up and go chase it if it was easy everybody would do it Be easy and have a great rest of your day.